Hi, good people. Uh, first, I want to thank all my subscribers and those taking time to like my videos. Whoa, the gift that keeps giving. Come and watch one among so many trading videos about uh, P. Daddy. Watch this video. Tommy Scoville is dropping bombs <laughs> on his channel right now. This has not been reported anywhere in the world, folks. We have we have got actual recordings leaked of Diddy in prison, telling people to get rid of things. You've got to understand, though, we are going to play these calls to you guys tonight. But you've got to understand, this is heavy slang. And it oh, boy. Play it may play in. You know, remember all those theories, conspiracy theories about the pizza stuff? Bam! He's 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 into the pizza terminology in these phone calls and much other terminology, which Tommy is going to translate for you guys. Uh, this is fascinating to me, and the way that uh, the way that I got it, um, it's hard to tell whether or not this thing is a uh, a call made on a prison phone. Or whether or not this is two guys sitting across from each other. You know how you visit in, uh, in especially in like a county jail, because as much as we call this prison, he's not in prison, right? I mean, this is this is MDC Brooklyn, so they're on the they're on the national diet. I mean, the national uh, uh, menu, so they're all eating the same garbage that they would be in the feds. They're wearing the same clothing, right? All that stuff. But since they haven't been to court yet, they're really just in a in a federal county jail, right? That's really where they are. So. A lot of times you go in to visit and you're sitting between a pane of glass and you pick up a phone and the person on the other side picks up a phone. Those are all recorded as well. And I, I kind of have a feeling that that's where this came from. It's just, it's a gut feeling. Um, I could be wrong, but the background noise in this, like you've been in the shoe. If, if he was in the shoe, the, the bean slot would drop, right? The food slot that they pass the food through and you take the little phone, you know how that works and you got to dial it up. So all of the sound in the shoe comes through that that bean slot you know the food uh, trap like like a stereo speaker it's hell when you got to make a phone call i just don't it doesn't seem to me that there could be any chance that's how he's doing it but that's that's an opinion all right so we have got one of the calls here i believe this is the first one and i'm gonna play this let's fingers crossed it works let's see entertain none of this nonsense and nothing over the phone i let's try that again ah uh, what up are you listening do not entertain none of this nonsense and nothing over the phone i do not right. entertain none of this nonsense and nothing over the phone i right. yeah and nothing over the phone so this is uh uh obviously pretty sound advice Right. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they keep to their <laughs> to their sound <laughs> advice. You know what I mean? It's a, it's one of those situations that uh, that maybe they should have uh, they should have thought of that. The by the way, all of these these calls do end up in in you know people are like, how is this possible? I'm telling you that every phone call that this cat makes over the time that he's incarcerated, we're gonna have a shot at over time. That's just how it works because the the these places have uh, services. Like you remember all the, how much money you had to pay when you were locked up to make a phone call on the prepaid? It's the the BOP isn't handling that, right? There's a there's a company that comes in. Well, that company is collecting all kinds of data, and they've found ways to uh, to you know disseminate it to people that want to pay big money for it, right? I mean, there's a lot of people that want to hear. You know, you've probably seen some of the guys doing content <laughs> on the uh, the Wade Wilson calls. I mean, that, all of them. You can get you can get all of it. Yeah, that's not it, folks. There's tons more to come. We're just getting tons started. <laughs> yeah, tons, tons more. Yeah, absolutely. Don't uh, do not fear. Tommy, do you have an approximation of when these calls were made or who he's speaking to? Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. This is uh, this is him talking to his son, and this is going to be uh, my assumption would be it's King, right? The the one he calls King. Later on, he refers to uh, to other um, to siblings. Which will let you know uh, who uh, you know in terms of who he's talking to because he's one of his sons. But as, as far as time frame goes, 
Later on in the, in the call, you're going to hear uh, his son say to him, don't worry, you're going to be out on bail tomorrow. So this had to have been, uh, I would have guessed right before the uh, bail hearing number two, not the magistrate one, but the one with Carter. So this is, uh, this is a while back. This is a while back. So for these to be leaked, they would have had to have been recorded. At, uh, obviously, the jail records everything, but perhaps the other end as well. Does that mean a staff member's leaked it or the person at the other end has leaked it? The uh, These things basically can be foiled. <laughs> There's a lot of ways you can get this. Like like every single call from Wade Wilson, right? All of those calls. The, the company that's handling the phone systems, they do that. It's It's a... It's a company that gets brought in. It's not like the feds own that phone system. You're not paying the federal government to make the phone call you do. You're paying whatever the name of the you know particular service for your area is. And uh, they end up leaking it. They end up you know selling it because those people are also, um, you know, they've got all kinds of stuff. Probably a corrections officer is solid. That's a very solid uh, point too. If somebody is in there with one of these, the calls are all monitored. It would be so easy for somebody to just put put a phone up and do uh, do one of those numbers. That's absolutely a possibility. So you are saying that the most likely source of the leak is the phone company contracted to record the calls? No, what I'm saying is over time, that's who is going to leak all these. Um, you will see you will see them come out in uh, in uh, way more. You'll you'll get bulks of them. The fact that there's only one call leaked on this, and again, I think it might be people sitting across from each other. It doesn't sound like they're in the shoe. There's just not enough noise. You know what I mean? The the way that you, you have to figure it's a hallway full of people screaming at the top of their lungs all day, and you've got just this little opening right with air conditioning pour, pushing the uh, wind. And all of the noise directly into that cell, it's brutal. So I, th I think they're sitting there talking at, at a visit across from each other and probably somebody sitting with a cell phone and recording it. That's, I think, probably the most likely. All right. Let me go to the next one then, folks. Let's see what happens here. This is file four, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Boxes. The what? Auto boxes left over from the pizza. Auto boxes. Wow. I'm going to play that one again because I can't believe my ears. One second. You might want to play that twice. <laughs> Good grief. What is your interpretation of pizza boxes? Uh, well, the um, uh, this early on in the uh, <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to get you scrubbed, but uh, there's a lot of people. Yeah, that word comes up a lot. And I think that um, if there's anybody here that doesn't know the, the references behind this, it's um, it's as foul as you can possibly think of. Uh, and it's a, it's a code words for things that, yeah, it's all bad. It's all bad. This is in reference to people that are not uh, old enough to, um, you know, to drive an automobile in most cases and certainly not old enough to vote. Right. You know, it's really foul, right? And it makes you wonder, right, that, yeah, it's it's absolutely disturbing. And it's it's uh, kind of, it's out the gate. And this, uh, this call gets, uh, it gets more interesting as it goes. I know that. It's, it's hard to, to top that, but it gets more interesting as it goes. It's very, very disturbing. I think a lot of this is. A lot of this is really, really messed up. Yeah, because we saw, you know, that theory that came around that caused a lot of problems for people on YouTube, the Q theory. Oh, boy. And that and that was you that that terminology was used a lot. Knowing, you know, because that terminology is no longer secret and it is classified as what you were you know, intimating. Yeah. Why would anyone be so stupid as to use that in this day and age when that's already been outed as that word? Do you think? You know, the, honestly, the, uh, the the first person that I um, listened to this with, that was the first thing they said. You know, what, there's no way he could be, you know, uh, naive enough to not know that this is out there in the zeitgeist kind of thing. And I thought to myself... I'm not 100% sure of that. I mean, do you think this cat spends an awful lot of time, uh, you know, surfing and doing things like that? I, I figure from the time he gets up to the time he goes to bed, 
This dude lived a, a, a very different life than us. Maybe he's familiar with all that, but I think you could probably maybe drop uh, the that word you were about to say that starts with the letter Q and have him go, never heard of it. I mean, I think that that's a distinct possibility. Um, there are a lot of people in society that have never heard of things like this because you sort of have to, there are certain circles where this got a lot more traction, right? I mean, it was three days in the uh, in the news cycle in the United States. It didn't get a whole lot more than that because they weren't trying to promote it. You know what I mean? They weren't trying to let it get traction. I'm suspecting his degree of arrogance as well, thinking that, you know. This Hubris, is right? Gonna, yeah, this is never going to come on, out online or anything like that. All right. So the next one, then, let me go to that and I'll just rewind it real quick. Okay. Make sure you recycle the plastic like we talked about. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you recycle the plastic like we talked about. Yeah. All right, viewers. So many of you were able to interpret the pizza thing. Recycling plastic? Come on, help me, folks. Uh, you know, there uh, there was a lot of theories when I uh, when I talked about this on my channel. I think a lot of them were solid. Uh, I personally think that uh, a lot of devices that um, that keep data, right? You know, if you had a zip drive or you had, you know, think about basically anything that you might have data stored on is probably plastic. And to me, recycling sounds like. Yeah, exactly. There you go. USB storage devices, that kind of stuff. Destroy that, right? Grind it up. Do whatever you got. Like recycle that stuff. Get it down to recycling. You know, destroy it. Let me read what they're putting in the comments then. Yeah, a lot of people saying about the USB sticks. Yeah, right? I mean, basically anything. If, this, if some of the stuff went back, yeah, video cassettes are plastic, uh, CDs, right? DVDs, whatever. The um, All of those things plastic baby oil bottles yeah you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, yeah this this was uh you know probably a little late for the baby oil uh wow. those bottles were outed those bottles were outed a while ago this is insane tommy i can't believe you've come across this let's see there's the next one then view tab and um, that's right, number six let me just rewind it Nah, Bob, he ghosting. He's out because I'm in here. It's all good. You about to get out on bail. Did Jay reach out yet? Not the Jay that I'm thinking. Right? Now, now here's the deal. He, you know, almost everybody on uh, on planet Earth that, that is going to hear this is probably going to assume that that's the Jay he's talking about. I, you know, uh, I don't know. Can you think of any others? Um, any any other you know Jays that? Because you got to. Well, I mean, maybe maybe it's a Jay that's not famous, right? Maybe he's got a dude that lives in the neighborhood that he borrowed a lawnmower from. You know what I mean? Like, you know, a hedge trimmer. He went next door and said, "Hey, you know, you got a tool I can borrow." You know, yeah. Cool, cool. He just wants to return to his neighbor whose name might be Jay. No, I mean, honestly, but in the real world, he might have a few a uh, few friends named Jay. Uh, I don't know that I know anybody named Jay currently. In my life, but uh, maybe maybe he knows a couple. A few people in the chat are asking, "How do we know that these are not AI generated?" Well, here's the deal. In all honesty, how do we know that anything today is not AI generated? Right? I mean, truthfully, and and full disclosure, right? I've uh, here's here's what I would say. The uh, the people that have um, sent this to me, I caught a lot of crap when I came out and said the uh, the baby oil has got uh, G in it. Right. And I didn't catch any crap over here, which was cool because uh, you kept having me back on. But you know something? Everybody now. Right. There's no place that you can go. Mainstream uh, media is even talking about the fact that uh, that the baby oil was spiked. Um, so this is coming from uh, from the same sources. That's uh, that's about as good as I can tell you. Right. We did. All right. Last time. All right. So, Tommy said he's got a good source for this that has served him well in the past of course we you know we, we cannot guarantee anything there's no such thing as a guarantee in this life absolutely we are, we are doing our best to bring this information to you and you can all form your own judgments it, it does sound pretty realistic to me so we're going to go over to the next one and yeah. um 
we just bring this one back a little bit. Here we go. Everybody out there, quiet as a Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're going to let them have their little fun, but I'm still going to have the last laugh. <laughs> let me play that again. Everybody out there, quiet as a Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We gonna let them have their little fun, but I'm still gonna have the last laugh. All right, what's he saying there? Uh, you know something? I think that uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people that believe this guy is uh, uh, has probably um, at least tried tried to keep an ace up his sleeve. If you think about how long uh, he had to get prepared for getting arrested, right? Honestly, it's it's kind of amazing because they. Um, you know, if we told you this at a later date, it would sound ridiculous. It would sound like we're making it up, right? But he got he got sued in uh, in November of last year on a case that he had to know once it was out into the world, he was going to get charged with stuff, right? There was no other way around it. He had to know that that was coming. Before that, a couple of years before that, she had reached out to him, right? So he's known this is coming for a really, really long time. And it, it keeps getting back to the hubris. It, it keeps getting back to the fact that this guy... If he's recorded everything for the for every time, every day he's been on planet Earth, and he kind of brags about the fact that since becoming um, Diddy, right, since starting this whole adventure, his entire life's on film, right? Um, we know that it, all of his houses were wired for sound. It's uh, I don't think it's it's uh, a stretch to think that he's got a head stash of some really ugly stuff on some people, and if he's got it, right, if he's got that stuff. And I think when you listen to the rest of this call, I don't know, you can interpret it any way you want, but it seems to me that. Um, and he sounded quite confident in one of those. That's that he was going to get Jojo's out of What's that? Um, still, yeah. You know what? It is his, uh, yeah. His son was confident that he was going to get out of bail. The, uh, I don't think, uh, I think dad was a little more reserved, but his kid definitely thought he was going to be getting out on bail. You know, hope, that shines, was, hope shines eternal, doesn't it, for the new arrestee and his family members? Uh, well, you know what, and and it, it's what keeps you, uh, it's what keeps you alive. You know, saying you have to have a little hope that springs from every filing and every time you go to court, you know, a little bit of hope because you'll go nuts. It's a very tough, tough environment while you're waiting to be sentenced or waiting to go to uh, to trial. It's tough. Yeah, the hope runs all the way through the pre-sentence period. And then the final pipe dream, once your sentence is the appeal. <laughs> you know, you, you, you tell your family, you know, if I get 18, I'll be home by Christmas. Yeah, I get 18. You're lucky to be home by the following Christmas. <laughs> all right, next one. Um, there we go. View tab. Need you to reach out to the producer. Let these motherfuckers know there's a release date for that new Netflix movie. I pop. It's just it's crazy right now. Try that again. No. Hey yo, check this out. Need you to reach out to the producer. Who do you think the producer is, Tommy? I'll be honest with you. I don't have an idea. I really don't. There in the last um uh. When in my chat last time, people started to uh, to take some guesses. Um, Cl uh, Clive Davis, I think, was um, most people's favorite vote on the uh, on the live feed that I did. Um, I don't know, I really don't. But it, but to me, this sounds uh, this sounds like a threat, right? To me, this yeah. See, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people were saying um, Clive Davis, and I think that that's it's probably pretty decent. Well, a lot of people said that too, but I don't think. I mean, th there's nothing he's going to do to stop that freight train, right? I mean, that Netflix has already uh, has already paid. I just think this is code. I think the uh, the reference to Netflix, he could have picked Hulu, he could have picked anybody, but he picked uh, he picked Netflix. But I could be wrong. I don't think it's uh, I think it's a threat. I think it's a threat. Tell them if they don't, right? He's uh, he's bummed out. You know, Jay, whoever isn't uh, his ghost in him, he's unhappy. Let me continue that one again. Let these know there's a release date for that new Netflix movie. I pop. It's just it's crazy right now. Netflix movie, yeah, fifty cent. 
Yeah, I to me that to me it just sounds like a, a threat. If you play it from the beginning, reach out to the producer and tell he he doesn't sound happy with the dude he's reaching out to, right? Uh, it just I don't know. I don't think it's it, uh, you know the, what what could it be about Fifty Cent? He ain't stopping that thing, right? There's no way you're going to stop that from happening, especially with the feeding frenzy that's going on on the planet right now with uh, with Sean Combs. That that uh, Fifty Cent's. Um, Netflix special would be the, uh, I mean, nothing's going to be bigger than the Super Bowl. But really, I mean, it's everybody's gonna, it's waiting. Gonna it's going to be, going to be huge. Mental. No, I, I can't wait. You know, he's been digging dirt forever. All right, next one is number 10. So this one, let's see. Stop sharing. Let me go to tab, go to tab. All right, go back a little bit. Here we go. Lawsuits though, Papa. Ain't none of them genius shit. I ain't worth nothing. Ain't got shit in my name anyway. Don't even worry about it. Put your money hungry. Hmm. About all these lawsuits though, Papa. Ain't none of them genius shit. I ain't worth nothing. Ain't got shit in my name anyway. Don't even worry about it. Put your money hungry. Just in shit. So my interpretation of that, he's saying that he's got no money and these people that are making allegations are just trying to cash in. Yeah, that everybody's just trying to cash in and he's uh, he's broke anyway, right? He's got no, uh, he's got no cash. He, he in the Cassie Ventura lawsuit, he brags about uh, the fact that his money is offshore. Play. Sorry, I'll play that one again if you want for people. Let me have a look. Um, view tab. There we go. What about all these what? Lawsuits. Lawsuits. What about all yeah, what about all these lawsuits, Pops? Ain't none of them genius shit. I ain't worth nothing. Ain't got shit in my name anyway. Don't even worry about it. But your money hungry. So he's hid all his money. Yeah. I had somebody uh, texted me in a question where they said if this cat had all of that time to uh, to prepare for this, why would he not have gotten rid of uh, the things like this, right? Why would? Um, and here's my uh, here's my theory on this. I think that he didn't. He probably didn't, or at least a theory. He didn't have a, a, an idea of just what an avalanche this was going to be. I mean, when you get arrested and they take you into into uh, to prison, you probably assume, you know what? You know, uh, this will make the news, right? I doubt he thought he would be the uh, the headline every single day for the next uh, you know year year and a half whatever this has been a uh, this is just like like nothing that that we've ever seen and I think maybe maybe it's a little overwhelming you know and I think some of the stuff he had to keep in uh, in order to protect himself and ain't none of them what no saying um play it again I'm not sure what I heard you know I think what he said. Uh, he said he said none of them have got a case basically they're all just after his money that's but he used slang yes. and he used swear, swearing that was muted. yeah they they yeah none of them are shat is what he was saying i believe is the uh, okay. yeah ain't none of them feces scat yeah. scat okay yeah let me bring in the next one then this one is 20 seconds long this one that's okay Justin said, what should he do about his whip, though? Man, the f*** is you talking about? You don't see this shit I'm dealing with right now? I know, Bob. I told this dude that. Hey, yo, check this out. Tell his life skin ass to go make a club appearance or something. Motherfucker, make some money. You 30 years old and shit. Hey, yo, f***ing call him. Hey. I think we need to go over this one in sections. I'll start at the beginning. All right. Justin said, what should he do about his whip, though? What should he do about his whip, dog? Is that what he said? What should he do about his whip, though? Right. And what what he's saying is uh, the uh, they're coming to repo uh, Justin's car, right? A whip. He's making reference to an automobile. So right. And and that is that was uh, that is a fact that's come out uh, recently that uh, he was uh, he was getting sued over um, the uh, getting his uh, his car. Yeah, it's a, a Bentley, apparently. And uh, he stopped making payments on it right about the time Dad uh, Dad got in trouble, and so it's a shame. But uh, that's what he's talking about. All right, I'll continue. Man, the f is you talking about? You don't see this shit I'm dealing with right now. Yeah. What did he say what the, then? What the f are you talking about? 
Can't you see uh, the uh, the S I'm dealing with? Right. Right. I know, Bob. I told his dude that I had to check this out. Tell his light skinned ass to go make the club appearances. Tell his light skinned ass to. Bob, I told his dude that I had to check this out. Tell his light skinned ass to go make the club appearance or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What he said is to go make a club appearance. But, um, you know, he's uh, he says he's telling his kid to go to work. Right. You know, and he's making a reference to the uh, to uh, to Justin. Me. You're 30 years old, man. Go out there and, uh, you know, make a club appearance. You can make a bunch of money, you know, at, at uh, that kind of celebrity. If you uh, clubs will pay you, you know, X amount of money to show up and uh, and hang out for the night because everybody and their brother will come down there to, to be around whoever. And a lot of, I wouldn't say A-listers, I don't know what you call them, but a lot of celebrities make club appearances as a way to make uh, make cash. So he's talking about his son, Justin. Right, that's who the, the, the brother's talking about. And he said, yeah, I told his dumb, I told his dumb him that. Make some money, you 30 years old and shit, pay your own fucking car. Damn. Okay. You're 30 years old, man. Pay your own car. Damn. <laughs> um, 23 seconds on the next one. Let me rewind it. I told him to drop some music. I'm about to drop a new track this week. Everybody. I told him to drop some music. Yep. I'm about to drop a new tra uh, track this week. Who's dropping a new track this week? Well, this would have been uh, a few weeks back, but this is King talking. King Combs. However... Uh, you, that ain't gonna happen. You'll 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 hear. Dad's not enthused about that as a concept. <laughs> Go on. What did they say? It, he, it's a fairly good argument. The kid said that they all going to want to hear the as the as I got to say, right? And they are going to want to. It's a legit argument. He says, you know, come on, Dad, I can rap, and right now all of the attention is on us. I mean, think about what would happen if this dude did throw down a diss track, right? If he started to, to just, <laughs> do you have any idea? Like for real, it wouldn't even have to be a good one. But if this cat were to make a, a, a diss track. It's going to get all kinds of air. This is this is all anybody in the world is talking about, right? This is, this is anything he did right now. It, it would go to number one, like Kim's last words. Yeah, even even if it was to mock it, the guy the guy would get an awful lot of. Uh, everyone's going to want to hear it. Everyone's reporting on it. We'd all have to buy the damn thing just so that we could hear it. It's you know a once I mean? in a lifetime opportunity. If you it's a once in a lifetime on your dad's misfortune. <laughs> exactly right. How often is your dad going to get sent up on uh, the most foul charges on planet Earth and become the absolute uh, poster child for uh, demonic Hollywood? Right. That's a once in a lifetime shot. <laughs> and Dad says to him, "That's not going to happen. Right. You're gonna you're gonna lay low. Right. Keep your mouth shut. That kind of thing. He doesn't want any attention. Just funny as hell." Is, is, do you think that that's based on legal considerations? I think that he's a control freak. I think that his world's been yanked away from him. And I think that when people come up there, he likes to be able to exert control, right? His kid wants so badly to do this. I think he's really a sick human being. And I think if he's not controlling, like he's going to go insane. It's like taking, uh, you know, think of what he's been doing and for how long he's been doing it. His, his buzz Forget the drugs and the and the sex and all that stuff. It's just it's just about controlling people and 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 being that guy. You know, he's just such a control freak. I think that that he just wants to be able to to, to you know continue to control. And do you think because there's the possibility of other family members getting indicted if these do go to trial? A diss track rap could be used as an aggravating circumstance, saying they're making a mockery of justice and trying to capitalize uh, it. Yeah, or or they'll say it's that that these are veiled threats and that this was a way that their dad had to tell people, you know, you're you're messing with the wrong dude. I think, I mean, there's probably some justification in what Diddy's thinking, right? I mean, if you're he's not in a great spot, right? And do you want your uh, do you want your kid firing off at the uh, you know? the jibs while you're uh, while you're in there because mm -hmm. you have no control you're not going to be there to to produce this you're not going to you know see the 
the product before he uh, gets to put it out. And I think, yeah, I'd never let that happen. It could hurt him. It could absolutely look horrible. Yep. And uh, we're about to finish this one. So let me continue. And just do the I told you to do. And don't forget about the list. Make sure that you just put the sign. I, I. What was the last part there? Yeah, uh, basically, he wants him to do nothing, but he does want to get that list taken care of. There's a list, and he wants it signed, right? Um, whatever that list is, I think a lot of people probably immediately think about NDAs because we heard, you know, over, uh, I mean, on Sunday, the, uh, you know, 13-year-old sign an NDA, right? Allegedly, there's a 13-year-old girl that had to sign an NDA to go into, uh, you know, to the VMA after party. The, it's legendary how many people this guy's got NDAs from, right? You go to a party at his house, you go to hang out, he, like everything. And he, I think he believes that they're a lot more powerful than they are, right? Uh, you know something? I have said the exact same thing, I promise you, almost word for word, right? I, the, yeah, there's a lot of smoke over this thing right there's a ton of smoke it's been my experience when there's that much smoke there's usually a decent amount of fire right and you know there's a lot of cold cases there's an awful lot of cold cases that uh, seem to be within this cat's orbit and that's kind of odd you know what i mean it, uh, it really is how many people do you know that have been bumped off and not uh, <laughs> and the case hasn't been solved you know most people i don't think have a six pack of those lying around but uh you know, he's he's a very unusual character, and he might be. You know, he, he really might be. It's crazy. I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind when I hear list is La Lista, like the hit list in, in, in prison. I mean, it it could be, but getting it signed, I mean, maybe he's just being slick because you do have to come up with. But so in the if this was uh, if he was on a regular yard, right, if he was on. Um, Let's just say he was at an FCI when I was when I was down or he was at a USP. If you had this phone conversation, you wouldn't get through the phone conversation. Right. I promise you, you would not get through the phone conversation. When you started talking about the recycling and the pizza boxes and all that, they would have been in there going, what are you doing? Hang up. And you'd have been in a room with SIS and they would be barking at you or, or even to say the phrase, hey, like I told you, you know, like you had set something up uh, previous. The feds are vicious, but this really isn't a fed yard, right? I hope you watched the video from beginning to the end. It's important. Please remember to subscribe, share, and like.